Minecraft animals are super cute but they hide a lot of cool features and things that they do. So today I wanna increase your knowledge by showing you 30 facts about animals. Starting with the cats, they can scare away the creepers but did you know that they can also scare away the phantoms. So having a cat sleep on your bed is actually really useful. While the mushroom ghosts can't scare away anyone, they can be used as an infinite food source. Just hold the bowl on your hand and right click on the cow. And the cow will give you mushrooms too, infinitely. Next up we have the axolotl, which has a 1 in 1200 chance of spawning with a blue rare skin. But why did they make it in 1 in 1200? Because 1200 is the amount of axolotls left in the real life wilderness. After that we have the dolphins. They can help you swim faster, but there is a way that you can keep the effect for as long as you want to. Simply use a leash on the dolphin and just start swimming. And as you can see, the effect will stay on no matter how long you swim for. Whenever you are near any goats, make sure that you don't stay AFK for too long. Because they might ram you off a cliff, but that is not everything. There is even a 2% chance of the game spawning a screaming goat, which makes pretty funny and loud screams. It is the best pet to own if you want to get rid of the neighbors. Riding a beak might be slow, but did you know that you can push a beak with a saddle into a minecart and then go ride with it? This makes the minecart go the same speed as it was on powered rails, but saving you all of the redstone and the expensive rails. The downside to this is that you would still need to place the rails, but you can always use a horse instead. And some of the best horses can travel up to 14 blocks per second. That is 6 blocks faster than in a minecart. When it comes to the cliffs, donkeys and horses are the best because they can jump up to 5 blocks high. That is 4 times more than the Minecraft player's jump ability. Continuing with rabbit, the only animal that can spawn in the desert which makes them easily farmable over there. But make sure they don't get near any of your carrot farms because they can steal your carrots and you will be super confused on where the crops went. There is only one animal that is not that simple to breed and that is the panda. A panda needs to have a bamboo less than 5 blocks away from him to start the breeding. This makes sense because pandas are hard to breed in real life as well. Llamas on the other hand are expensive to breed. They consume over 1 to 3 hay bales before breeding. But at the same time, using a chest on a llama, you can carry up to 15 slots. Additionally, llamas will follow other llamas, just like a caravan. And it can be up to 10 llamas that all follow each other. And this, ladies and gentlemen, how you can move the entire storage room just by yourself. Wolves are probably the most loved pets in the game. But labeling each wolf with name tags is expensive. However, there is another way which is a lot cheaper. This involves using dyes on the colors. Simply grab any color dye, go up to the wolf and right click on it. And this will change the color's color. A cute personal touch for your Minecraft pet. Parrots are the most curious animals in the game. When they see other animals, they will fly around them in circles just to see what's up. Next up the donkey. Differing from the horse, the donkeys can be equipped with a chest which will always have 15 slots of room for your items. And if you don't like donkeys, then try breeding a horse with a donkey and that will produce a mule who shares features from both of the animals. A really unique animal to own in your own Minecraft world. The polar bears are the biggest animals of all, but the reason why they were added to the game was to raise awareness of them going extinct in real life. They are super rare in real life, so they are also rare in Minecraft. A lot of mobs and animals will transform when getting hit by a lightning strike. Like the creeper, who can be turned into a charged creeper. Then it will have a bigger explosion, which can even kill you when being in a full netherite armor and blast protection 4. Crazy thing. So charged creepers should definitely be avoided, especially in hardcore. The villagers can transform into witches when they get hit by a lightning strike, so keeping them inside would be the best choice. The mushroom cows will turn into brown mushroom cows, which is actually a really good thing, because now they can be fed by flowers and make you suspicious too. On the other hand, beaks will turn into zombified piglins, so next time when you're building a farm for beaks, keep in mind that you probably want to have a roof. But let's talk about the parrot. If you're planning to own one, then you should know that the parrot will imitate other mobs, like the creeper hissing noise. 
the villager noises, and even the wither sounds, so don't get too scared of those. Continuing with the dolphin, who can't be tamed, but feeding them will make them lead you to the closest shipwreck or a buried treasure, which in my opinion is a pretty good trait. There are only two animals that can't stay in the overworld and those are the hoglin and piglin, who will turn into the soglin and the zombified piglin in just a matter of seconds. Just like this video that is over in a second. See ya!